Hi, I'm Kayla Castell. Welcome to this latest YouTube. Please feel free to comment and give me feedback. And I hope this information is useful and helpful to you as we navigate this remarkable time that shamanic astrology refers to as the turning of the ages. Hi, this is Kaylin Castell, and this is about the December 2010 total lunar eclipse happening just hours before the exact December solstice. This is a remarkable time. This is accelerating and empowering the solstice in ways that are beyond the fact that we are at a 26,000 year turning of an age and the solstice points are on the galactic crosses. There is another uh, video that is about the uh, solstice points and I recommend checking into that to uh, have a little better understanding of what that is. This one is focusing on the lunar eclipse. This is the fourth full moon since the uh, tumnal equinox that happened in September of 2010. And there's usually only three full moons in a season. So this is the original meaning of a blue moon. And not only is it the fourth full moon before the December solstice from the autumnal equinox, but it is also the um, a total lunar eclipse. And that is a very rare occurrence. And again, you might want to look at the eclipse um, video to get more information about eclipses and how it collapses time and accelerates what's ever in motion. So this, um, so you're seeing a slide here of the um, galactic edge where there is the crossing of the galactic equator and the um, or the plane of our galaxy and the ecliptic which is the path the planets follow the blue line is our galactic equator the green line is the ecliptic the path the planets follow and you can see the moon right on that line approaching the exact cross and so um, this first slide is showing the the moon already starting to darken um, because we're going from one full moon to another full moon in about five hours. The, the moon will become completely dark. And in fact, you can see on this next slide that the moon is like a dark, dark red, barely visible, but it's sitting right on the cross. And this is happening late on December 20th and early on the morning of December 21st, just again hours before the exact December solstice is taking place. You can see that this is also between the constellation of the twins and the bull. And I am using the um, alternate names for the constellations because the point where this moon is located is the exact ecliptic moon is 29 degrees Gemini. The exact point on the cross is zero degrees Cancer. So it, the signs are a seasonal experience and they have nothing to do with the constellations. I will put out a audio or video about the difference between signs and constellations um, at another time. So... Um, around 3.15 a.m., this is another slide that's showing how the moon has still got some shadow on it um, and where it is with the bull and the twins and right there on the cross. By about 4.15 a.m., um, the moon is a little bit brighter. It's getting a little bit brighter each time. And then in um, Tucson, Arizona, in mountain time, the moon will be setting around 7.34 a.m. The sol solstice sun is rising at 7.29 a.m. The exact solstice won't be happening until 3.39 p.m. later in the day. This um, slide is showing where the sun is on the cross at the December solstice 2010. Um, but the sun, the, the thing to notice here is that the moon is setting at 734, between 734 and 749. And during that time, or just right before that time, the sun has risen. So you can witness the sunrise on December 21st and then witness um, the moon set. And that's a great experience to have. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube. Please feel free to visit me at my website, www.celestialtimings.com, where you can sign up for my free newsletter, and there's other articles and information you can find there as well. This is Kaylin Castell. Thank you for watching.